Hi Whovians, Harry here, and a couple of big things have recently dropped for Doctor Who. We got our second cryptic Doctor Who 60th anniversary teaser trailer, and a big name guest star was just revealed to be in series 14. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe, but also leave a like and comment down below, and let's get in to the video. So first of all, I'll start with the second Doctor Who 60th anniversary teaser trailer that we got. And it's not long, and again, it appeared in the BBC intervals that they have in between each programme when they're advertising their upcoming programmes. That will be on BBC. So again, it just happened kind of out of the blue. But let's get in to the teaser trailer. This is the edge of creation. So yes, that is it. Just nine seconds of, again, a lot of glitchy footage, um, like from the last trailer. A lot of glitches, a lot of cryptic things happening, and just some weird stuff. So again, I'll start with the music. Now, the music from this trailer, again, I think is from the RTD1 era, and it is the Doctor Who theme song composed by Murray Gold. But again, just like the last trailer. However, moving into the new stuff, this teaser trailer starts with a galaxy backdrop kind of scene. And we hear a narrator say, this is the edge of creation. Um, now, I think this is part of the Doctor Who teaser trailer. It did show um, when there was BBC and one um, on, the, on the screen. But I'm pretty sure that this is part of Doctor Who because the edge of creation just fits in so well with Doctor Who. So this Edge of Creation line could be related to the Edge of Existence, which we saw in The Power of the Doctor when the 13th Doctor had been forced to regenerate by the Master, and she was at the Edge of Existence. And if she crossed over, there would be no way for her to come back to being the Doctor in that body. And there was basically where the Guardians of the Edge were, where they were helping the 13th Doctor eventually regain her body. Or this could be how the 10th Doctor and Donna travel to the creation of the Earth in the episode The Runaway Bride, um, where they were trying to figure out um, why the Ragnos wanted to go to the centre of the Earth. But both of these relate to the Edge of Creation. And both of these relate to the Edge of Creation with the Edge of Existence kind of being the creation of the Doctor in the episode The Power of the Doctor and the creation of Earth in The Runaway Bride being the creation of Earth. And then the next scene we get shows a network error with binary code that translates to the 10th and 14th Doctor's catchphrase, of course being Alan Z. Alan Z! And then we move into a shot of the 14th Doctor and Donna shielding their eyes from a blast. And the background sort of looks like the 11th Doctor's TARDIS from Series B. And it looks pretty banged up, just like it did in Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS. And I could see how they could kind of work that in, because the past and future was kind of leaking out of the TARDIS in Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS. But it's probably the spaceship that we saw the 14th Doctor and Donna in in the first 60th anniversary trailer. And then the next shot shows a big box saying Redacted. And in that box, just above where it says Redacted, there is text in there saying 320250350. And then N-O-I-S-N-V-O-R-U-E, which is, of course, Eurovision 13th of May 2023, but backwards. Of course, Eurovision is dropping on the 13th of May, which May is the fifth month of the year in 2023. And, of course, this is probably hitting more towards that we will be getting another teaser trailer in Eurovision. And as that scene glitches and loads, you can see some sort of humanoid figure in the background. It doesn't look fully human, but it definitely looks humanoid. So I don't know how that factors into um, the 60th anniversary, but just something weird that I saw. And also in the next glitched part of this trailer, people have 
said that they can see the scene from Journey's End of Donna flipping the switch that had Davros's laser hand feed back into him and electrocute him. And this is the scene from Journey's End when Donna had the Doctor Donna in her mind and she was um, saving the Earth and the whole of creation. Again, another hint to the edge of creation um, from the Daleks, of course, in Journey's End. And with people saying they have seen this Dr. Donna scene from Journey's End, some people are also claiming that they can see Daleks. Again, probably a flashback from Journey's End. But to be honest, I can't really see any Daleks. Um, whereas I could kind of see this Dr. Donna scene, but I could be wrong. And then we go to the end of the trailer. But you know that isn't just it. Just like the previous teaser trailer, when this trailer is reversed, you can hear hidden dialogue. She mentioned Gallifrey. So, when this trailer is reversed, you can hear the 14th Doctor say, Did she mention Gallifrey? And last time Gallifrey was seen was in The Timeless Children, where the Master had destroyed it and converted all the Time Lords living on Gallifrey in that time into Cyber Masters. So with Gallifrey destroyed and the whole of Time Lord society being turned into Cyber Masters, how is even a mention of Gallifrey back and let alone in the 60th anniversary, our first foray into the second Russell T. Davis era. And of course, this she that mentions Gallifrey could be anyone. However, I have two big people who I think it could be if the rumours are true. So first person could be Carol Ann Ford. Again, she has been rumoured to be in the 60th anniversary, and of course she played Susan Foreman, the Doctor's granddaughter. And again, of course... Susan Foreman is a female, a she, obviously, and also she is a Time Lord, or at least a Gallifreyan. So it would kind of make sense if she mentioned Gallifrey, of course, being a Gallifreyan. And my second choice could be Bonnie Langford, of course, who is rumoured to be in the 60th anniversary and Series 15, of course, playing Mal Bush. And the name Mal has been heard being said by Donna in leaked 60th anniversary filming footage. Action. And again, of course, Mal Bush is a female, of course, a she. And she has also been to Gallifrey. She has been seen on Gallifrey, of course, most infamously in the Sixth Doctor's time in the Trial of the Time Lord. So she spent quite a chunk of time on Gallifrey. So she could be one to mention Gallifrey as well. But why would any of them really mention Gallifrey and get that type of reaction out of the Doctor? So it is probably a character that isn't even rumoured to be in the Doctor Who 60th anniversary yet. And that would just be insane for them to pull off. Also, big shout out to the Post Monument, Edward Benjamin Pulse, Doctor Who Home and Lards, their Twitter. So go check them out, follow their Twitter. It's just amazing for them to get it out just hours after the tease trailer was dropped. And the second thing I wanted to cover, as I said in the intro, is that a big name star has just been revealed to be in Doctor Who Series 15. And that is Jonathan Groff, and he is an award-winning star of stage and screen, and he is rumoured to be playing a key role in Doctor Who Series 14. So, Jonathan Groff has appeared in the musical comedy drama Glee. He has also um, been celebrated for his work on screen as Eric in Knock at the Cabin. He has also been in, in the critically claimed series Mindhunter, as well as having a leading role as the new Agent Smith in The Matrix Resurrection. And Jonathan has even been renowned for his voice acting in the Frozen films. However, I think his biggest mark that people will know him for is his mark on Broadway dazzling audiences with his performance of King George III in Hamilton and he was nominated for not only a Tony Award but also a Primetime Emmy Award for his work obviously as King George III in Hamilton. 
And upon joining Doctor Who, he was quoted saying, I am so thrilled to jump into the extraordinary mind of Russell T Davis and watch the incredible Shooty Gatwa soar in this iconic role. It's just amazing. Obviously, he has high hopes for Doctor Who as well. And Russell T Davis was also quoted saying, This is an incredible coup and a great honour to get such a huge star striding onto our set. So strap on your space boots. This is going to be a blast. So, of course, Russell T Davis has high hopes for Jonathan Groff and the character he is playing in Series 14. And, of course, strap on your space boots. So this might be a space station-centred episode, maybe in a similar vein to Oxygen, the Series 10 episode uh, back in the Capaldi era where it was set on a space station and centred around space suits trying to destroy you. So maybe this strap on your space boots... This could be a reference um, to a space station, um, spacesuit centred episode like Oxygen. However, having a stage performer that more primarily focuses in musicals like Jonathan Groff, maybe there will be a musical episode of Doctor Who. And this theory has just gained even more traction with the fact that Jinx Monsoon is playing a big villain role in series 14 and the fact that she has a very piano-themed outfit. And Doctor Who could kind of get away with doing a musical episode as it could just be explained by saying timey wimey nonsense. And I think it would be great to see a musical episode with having Neil Patrick Harris, Jinx Monsoon and now Jonathan Groff all of those amazing singers and stage performing actors, they could really fit well into a Doctor Who musical special. But I guess only time will tell. But that is just my thoughts. Let me know down in the comments below if you are excited with this new 60th anniversary teaser trailer and also if you're excited with the casting of Jonathan Groff in this new big role in series 14. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, also subscribe, and share it out, and I will see you in the next one.